big fan of her when she played on the national team. And, uh, they had a good season. Uh, I think she does a great job with those kids. And, uh, and so I'm uh, happy for her and her season. To, you know, for our team, when we get it going, it's a good deal. And uh, game two and the game one, we were just in a nice rhythm. The girls were making, having good conversations on the floor. And I think, you know, when we talk about the ultimate respect is when you listen. People can talk, but you got to listen. And uh, I think they did a pretty good job. And we can do a little bit better tomorrow night. But uh, we'll have a big challenge in LSU tomorrow night. Okay. Questions? Uh, you know, the game was so lopsided. Does that in any way cause a disadvantage for you? To, does it almost like take you off your edge a little bit and prepare for a, a better opponent? No. Yeah. I, you know, I think the challenge is the edge. You know, regardless of who you play, where you play, when you play, you know you got to play. And, uh, and we control. We can't control anybody. You know we can control what we do, and uh, that's a function of our thoughts and our emotions. And, uh, and you got to go hard. And I think we did that. You know, but yeah, you know you got to be ready for anything. But that's volleyball. You know, and no two players are alike. So it's, you know, I think our team did well. Demons play please you especially. Uh, you know, when Justice went in, I wanted her to make plays. You know, I just I expect her to, and, uh, and uh, she was a little nervous, but that's okay. You know, she'll get another chance. But you know, I, looking at the numbers, uh, Chris did her thing, and Liana did her thing. Hit you know 66 percent. Uh, Cassie Strickland did her thing. She hit 69 percent, and, and I'm yelling at her when she hit those two balls that were out. But uh, you know, I think I can hold her to that standard. But uh, I, I think it was a good team effort for sure. Just more impressed by how you hit or what you held them to or a combination of both? Yeah, just, you know, you got to play all parts of the game. And uh, I thought we were pretty good. I, I like the way we took care of first balls on transition. We had a variety of different types of balls we had to take care of. And, uh, and then I thought our swing percentage was pretty good in trans. And, uh, you know, but it can always be better. You know, that's the way we look at things, and, uh, and we got to be better for tomorrow night. I, I was disappointed in our serving. You know, by maybe looked like we served well, but it did, we, we didn't serve as well as we're capable of. I think. Chris, what do you think the team's performance tonight? Uh, I thought we played pretty well. There was a few times I thought we let our edge down a little bit and let them sort of get a little momentum, but. We got it back pretty quick. Um, and I thought people played well, um, came in. We know what's at stake here, so we didn't want to let anything kind of drop at that point. So, Cassie, I think you're in nine to nine, nine for nine. Start the match. Just talking about the kind of offensive groove you were in. I was just trying to be aggressive, and I've been working really hard to improve my hitting and have less errors, but still be aggressive. So, when they sat me the ball, I just wanted to go up and take care of it for my team. You, um, how much does it add to your serve when you hear the the uh, the fans go boom? <laughs> it's like while I'm hitting it. It's nice to hear like after I do it, but going into it, I'm just trying to hit a good serve in my area. The uh, Alabama State coach yesterday told me she admires your uh, your aggressive player. She, in fact, just to tell you, she was. T uh, I asked her about Washington. She, said, well, she praised Krista, saying all the wonderful things, and she goes. I actually like that number eight. She was the feisty one. <laughs> what do you think your, first Jim, what do you think her uh, feistiness, if that's the correct term, uh, brings the team? She's got a good motor. You know, that's maybe the most important thing you can have those intangibles that you can, uh, your heart's pounded, you go very hard. You know, most people don't want to be like that. We're not geared up. We're geared up to cruise, and we're geared up to we want things easy. But she, this is a kid that uh, I don't think she needs it easy. I push the heck out of her like I did her. But these guys are different. You know, they don't want to be around normal people. They want to be pushed. And you know, when kids have that standard and you have that culture, then the expectation is very high. And so you have to have a heartbeat 
that can pound, or you can't play at Washington. You know, that's the deal. But, uh, yeah, so these guys fit the mold for sure. Mm -hmm. Do you find that when players come in, maybe freshmen or whatever, that they find that out quickly? That it, that if you have anybody coming in, that's kind of I'm just I've got the talent. I'm just come in. That the team pulls them in real quick with that. Sure, it's a, you know part of adapting <clears throat> at any level. Uh, you know we tell them in the recruiting process. You know there's nothing easy about becoming great. You know, we're not going to tell them they're going to be the most prolific and this and that and get the most sets. We're going to train them well and we're going to give them uh, some conditions where they can be successful and develop tools for now and for later. And these guys bought into that and you know, that's why we've had a number of player of the years and stuff like that. But you know, it's these guys do the work. They're the magic. You know, and they will always be the magic. It's not what we do. It's what they do. And they make it work. They give it meaning. Which is a big deal. I guess you like you like bringing this you know, uh, a little bit more intensity to the, uh, the team style of play. Yeah, I just get really excited when I play, and it's the best thing to see my teammates succeed. And I just I don't know, I can't control it, but I just like to play with that fire. <laughs> <laughs> Did she often get out of control? Yeah. Run around punching <laughs> whiteboards and stuff. Um, no, she just goes. <laughs> she just goes all off of the ball, and that's something that you really ask for in a teammate because she's going to put herself at her body at risk just to save a ball. So, this is all you can ask for in a teammate. So.